Welcome back to LearnWire. Today we are going to be doing some AI detection testing with Jasper. I just recently picked up a subscription to Jasper. I'll be doing some testing. Also want to do some testing with the ranking um, of the content of Jasper since it's been over a year since I had been subscribed to them. They are one of the industry leading AI uh, technologies, AI uh, softwares as far as blog posts and content writing and copywriting. So I felt it was good to go pick up a copy, see what it, how well they have developed the software, um, where it's at and compared with the other AI softwares that I've been using. So let's jump in right now. I just want to see what their original tests are and show you guys that. Um, I do have a lot more testing to do with these other softwares. It just takes time to do this. But um, certainly today I'll be uh, doing multiple tests right here. And so far I have been using Jasper for the, over the last week and it is testing very high, generally over 80% and many, many times it uh, pulls in at 95% or higher with the originality score. But let's go and test it out, build an article and so forth. And then we'll start charting this out and then we can go and do some more charting as well um, in other videos. So you wanna make sure that you subscribe to LearnWire so you get these uh, the results of uh, these different softwares and different AI detection testing. Um, and we will be using Originality uh, AI. Uh, it's, it's a paid tool. Um, and it's very simple and straightforward to use. Uh, it doesn't, it's, it's not that expensive. I don't, I've only uh, bought it once with 20 bucks and I've uh, loaded it with a ton. I think it gives you like 20,000 credits. And, um, you know, I, I haven't had to refill it or anything like that. And I've done quite a bit of testing. So, um, this one, you know, you have to take it with a grain of salt, just like any other software, this, um, isn't going to be a hundred percent accurate. Um, as far as just, it's just one software that is attempting to detect AI and that's what their entire software is built around. But it is, um, to my knowledge, the only one that we have to go off of others try to uh, say, Hey, use this one, use this one, but no one ever drops links to those other softwares. I don't know of any, I've done Google searches and so forth. I don't know any other softwares that you can do this with. So this is what um, I feel like I have to go with. So we're going to go with originality.ai to do the testing. So let's go get a keyword real quick and let's jump in. I was actually doing some reverse engineering on a site um, that I felt found this keyword that actually, when we go back over here, you can see that um, selling journals on Amazon actually has good search volume at 400 and it's a relatively easy keyword. But when you dive in even further, uh, you could, I'll, I could try to rank number one for how much money can you make selling journals on Amazon? And then hopefully um, if I rank for that um, and the article's written good enough, I could also rank for selling journals on Amazon. So that's what brought me to this keyword that doesn't really have a whole lot of search volume or anything like that. We're going to go and see what we can get in here. So we're going to go into Jasper right over here. And just mind you, I have not been in the software for over a year, maybe longer than that. So uh, I'm not going to be as familiar. I'm, it doesn't look like a whole lot has changed. Um, other than they definitely have added uh, Jasper chat, which is really fun to use. And I'll be doing more videos on that, but that's really fun to use. Um, I haven't even touched Jasper art. I haven't even clicked on that yet. Uh, maybe that'll be another video. Um, and then recipes. I think that this is fully developed with a, a lot of recipes too, that can help you with your content. So, um, so just, uh, you know, bear with me. Uh, I may, if you're already a Jasper user, uh, I may be doing things wrong or something like that. Uh, but I will get the hang of it for sure. Okay. So we can come in here to, um, boss mode. They also have a blog post outline section right here that we could use, but I'm going to go and just go right into boss mode and see what this looks like. So free form with any template, uh, write any type of content using any of our templates, workflows, write specific content from start to finish using our most popular templates. I would rather see if we could do this uh, blog post right here start um, the workflow. All right, so we're in here. The blog post title is going to be exactly this. It's a question post. Um, definitely wouldn't want to make this any longer than this. Um, how much money can you make selling journals on Amazon? Um, yeah, the audience, marketers, low content, publishing, um, KDP, Amazon, um, KDP sellers. 
something like that. And we'll just stick with um, casual, helpful, something like that. And then we're just going to see about pushing the generate button. <clears throat> okay, and we have an output. Um, have you ever wondered how much money you can make by selling journals on Amazon while there's no de uh, definite answer? In this post, we'll explore some factors that could affect your earnings potential, whether you're a marketer looking to add another income stream or a budding um, entrepreneur con considering a low content publishing business. This post will give you some food for thought. Read on to learn more. Uh, I like it. It's kind of uh, simple and uh, it's concise. Sometimes these softwares pump out really large um, introductions, which are not needed. And I don't think that that's what uh, people favor or Google favors. So you can tell the, it seems like this is um, simple and, and kind of straightforward um, on purpose. Another thing that I'll add is that it doesn't seem, or this uh, wizard is new. Uh, they never had this before. Uh, last time I was subscribed, so this is new, and I really like this. This is what I thought um, Jasper was missing, was having kind of a, a wizard-type um, module, taking you step-by-step step really quickly to get uh, your kind of draft article written, <clears throat> instead of just logging in, having a blank uh, piece of paper, right? So, uh, so far, I really like this. Uh, so I'm going to go with that. So then I guess you just push the next button. We go down here, blog post outline. We're going to go ahead and, and just keep it with that and push generate. And as we did that, it moved over the context, context um, the text over here, which is cool. And right now it's working on a blog post outline. And we'll see what it comes up with. Uh, it's taking longer than I... Um, was used to, but maybe it's doing a lot more, um, you know, AI uh, steps in order to get a really good blog post outline. So, uh, but I mean, really, it's only been about 15, 20 seconds. That's not that long. So we will see what it comes up with. So I waited about 60 seconds and it didn't come up with anything. This is probably a very specific uh, topic that it doesn't really have much. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to shrink this down right here and um, selling journals on Amazon has 400 search volumes, so that's gotta, there's got to be enough data for this. We're going to try one more time right here with just um, you know a little bit more broader keyword. Oh, yeah, and then it just came out with really easy. Um, I want to go ahead and just try that again. I don't know what was going on, but let's just copy that. It definitely did that very fast. Um, let's just push regenerate. Okay, yeah, so it was it just got tied up somehow. It's working just great. So um, we have find a niche um, market, find a niche market for your journals, list your journals on Amazon, um, track your sales, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna go next, paragraph generator. What is your paragraph about? Find a niche, uh, keywords to include. Um, I'm just gonna leave that, uh, we're gonna say generate. So it just takes you kind of through the steps. Um, this is definitely for, um, if you're just brand new to the software and you kind of don't know how, you know, I can definitely do a demo, maybe not in this video, but of, of standard boss mode where, you know, you have a little bit more control and things, um, you, and you'll be able to see it, um, writing in front of you. So it just depends on what you like. Um, yeah, there's definitely, it's really nice that they've given you the option to do either one. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what this text says. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to go with next. And then it automatically adds that H2 over here with the content underneath it. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we, it just automatically moves on to your next uh, bullet point, your next H2. It just goes to list your journals on Amazon and then list your journals on Amazon. Um, cool. Um, the, uh, I guess we'll just, I'll just start titling this first. Um, the, the whole thing doesn't have to be capital uh, title case, but uh, definitely the first one. And we'll just say generate. So I'm going to speed through the rest of this. I think you get the gist of this. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I like this. That's fast. And then you can literally just say next. And then you can come over here. I'm just going to fix this U right here. We're going to speed this up real quick. Generate. It's going to come up with a uh, use social media to market your journals. And it does that. Um, we're just going to move into the a little bit faster phase of this so we can get on with the testing. I could have had this done already. I guess I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a demo. Uh, are you sure you want to skip uh, cancel? I forgot to generate this one. Uh, since I'm back into Jasper, I'm new to it. Um, you know, just want to show what this can do, uh, how fast we can cr uh, create this uh, article. 
um, you can make changes to this before you actually have it go out and create content for you. Um, certainly there are other template or um, wizard based one click article uh, writers that are faster than this. Um, and let's go, what are the main points? Blog post conclusion, boom, boom. And you can put in a call to action right there. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to say generate and we're going to go ahead and finish. And so we have a 776 word article um, that was pretty quick. Um, we just need to come up here and fix some of this right here. I also would want to add some um, more um, to this, but we're not going to do that right now and track your sales. And then this right here is the conclusion, but I don't think it wrote anything for that. So I'm just going to add conclusion right there, add that H2. All right. So we've got our 777 word article. And then from here you can compose, um, if you want to write more or you can take this into the main editor if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and just copy this right here. I'm going to copy that. And then we're going to go over to originality. We're going to go new content scan, the AI detection. We're going to paste that in and then I'm going to say scan now. And we're at 88 and 12. So you get 88% original score from their article generator. I already know that um, the, the Jasper chat is pulling up to a hundred uh, percent, which is super cool. So we'll go back over into our chart, 88, 12. Um, so this is going to be unique, 88 and 12. Now we need some more uh, testing uh, and we need some faster testing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over. Let's see how we can do this uh, untitled document. Let's go. Let me go grab this title here and I'm just going to put this in over here so I don't lose place because I am going to also go and publish this. Um, I'm going to definitely do some more things to it and I'm going to go publish it, but a hundred percent of it will be written in Jasper. Um, and then I'll go and I will, um, you know, keep track of it in SERP robot and we'll see how it ranks over the next um, several days. And I'll come back and I'll um, update you guys. Or if you're watching this video later on, you can go and uh, check and see if it's ranking on page one. Um, that's uh, one of the reasons to subscribe to uh, the channel is that, uh, you know, I do follow up videos. I do testing. I do case studies. I actually show this stuff on one of my websites and I, then I go and rank it. So kind of uh, proves the disbelief. There's disbelief out there that you can't rank AI content and I do it all day long. So, um, it's fun to do that and do the testing and everything. So we're going to go back over here. We'll go back over to templates real quick and we'll go into, I'm going to go click on blog, <clears throat> blog post topic ideas. Um, let's go with that. And All right, so I just kind of filled in some information right there. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you're probably going to get higher quality outputs uh, because we're putting in all this data and it takes a little bit extra time. It's a little different than what I'm used to where you just go and type in, you know, a little simple phrase and then it comes out and gives you some uh, topic ideas. Um, I'm going to go over here and just give it 10 over here and say generate, see what it comes up with. I gave it some examples over here. so. Obviously how to make money online in 2021. That's not a good one. Even if we change that to 2023, this is still just too broad. Um, we'll come through here. Yeah. Um, I don't like this topic, uh, blog topic idea uh, thing. It's better just to go get a keyword, uh, to base your search on. So I'll go get a keyword real quick. Okay. Found an interesting topic and we're going to go ahead and just, I'm going to go and create an article real quick so we can do another testing. So I'll be right back. Okay. So that took a few minutes, but, um, it, it's, it's fun using the software definitely. And you get a sense that it just has some high quality to it. Um, it does take a little bit longer than like say high pot news or copy AI, something like that. Um, but, uh, definitely if you're getting original content out of it, then that's extra couple of minutes, um, spent writing the article is definitely worth it in my opinion. And we're going to test out the ranking of it as well. Right. Um, but certainly it seems like it stays very much on point for every article. I tried different ways. I started off in boss mode on this article and, uh, was able to get, um, quite a bit on the page. And then I also opened up the, uh, what's called power mode and where you can go and write paragraphs uh, once at a time. 
um, pretty cool. So uh, this introduction, you probably would want to come in here and split it up a little bit by putting a paragraph. Um, I would come in here and just break this text up um, all over right here and just kind of do a little bit of formatting. Uh, it's got, so I, what I can say is uh, one of the things I didn't like about using the uh, Jasper before was um, just the formatting, uh, how much time you have to spend formatting. Uh, it looks like it's gotten a lot better. Uh, it was all over the place and you would get, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't finish sentences. You'd get weird symbols all the time. So, so far, two full articles, that hasn't happened. And the um, writing just seems a lot better. So uh, just uh, some initial observations from using the tool. We got an 1152 um, word article in, you know, about five to seven minutes. Um, looks really, really good. So now let's go and uh, test this out. We're going to go into originality. We're going to do a new content scan and we're going to go and paste that in and scan now. Uh, this one was only 32%, right? So 32%, 68. So I'm going to go back over here. This was 32. And what is that? 32.68. Okay. Uh, 68. Uh, I'm going to go in now and do uh, that actual same title. Uh, let's go in and grab that same title. Uh, tips for making most the most out of, nope, that's not what it is. It's um, how much money can you make from an oil well? Very specific keyword, but it actually has a 10. Um, so it's not the easiest keyword um, and 200 search volume. So we're going to go back in here. And then now what I'm going to do is go back. Oh, I guess I should title the document real quick, um, come back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in over to Jasper chat for fun. And I'm going to tell it to write a full length article, my guess blog post on, and I'm just going to go ahead and be title and keyword, put that in and then just push enter, see what it can come up with. It, it usually will only write about 500 words at a time. Um, and that's the same with chat GBT, but we can tell it to expand. We can expand more, but this is just for a, uh, testing purposes as well. So here we go. That was 438 words. All right. So we could go and do an expand and all that, but for now, let's just go and copy this text, go back into originality, do a new scan over here, paste that in and scan. And we're at a hundred percent. So it seems like uh, the experience that I'm having in Jasper chat is that it's coming out with a hundred percent original content. So I'll actually do two tests. I'll do one keyword, or I'll test just Jasper chat. So in um, SERP um, over here, what I'll actually do, cause I do, I keyword tag all these, right? And what I'll do is I'll put one as Jasper and then one as Jasper chat. That way I can just kind of do some testing as well to see. Um, clearly it seems like there's um, better uh, originality score testing in um, with Jasper chat. So. Uh, what I'll actually do over here is, um, let's see, I'm going to put Jasper over here and I'm going to go, these two, I think should be down here cause they were just, they were Jasper, right? And then Jasper chat was right here and this was 100 zero. Okay. So 100 and zero on Jasper chat, second test. I'm going to go and do some more testing, but as you can see, even with the, um, this, bad score over here. Um, the second, um, one we just tested, um, it's still higher than 90% of the other tools. So, um, yeah, it's still in this, in this test over here would come in at, uh, uh, third, it would actually come in in third with all the other tools. Um, and you guys saw that first one as well. Uh, came in at 88. Uh, so I'm going to do some more testing and, um, you know, go ahead and subscribe because I'll do some more follow-ups. I'll show you guys this chart after I do more testing. And then also I'll go and publish a couple of articles with Jasper and then we'll see if it ranks, but overall, um, you know, after, uh, not being subscribed for a while, it's kind of fun to, to get the subscription again and see where they're at. And, um, you know, just seeing these originals, originality scores go up quite a bit, pretty cool stuff. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next.